Hey there everybody, hope you're having a good day. So we're going to be painting up some Darkest Dungeon miniatures and we're starting off with the Crusader who was Zenithal highlighted with a black and gray and then a dry brush of white uh, just to really make uh, everything pop because we're going to be using some speed paints of course on this miniature. I mean speed paints have become my go-to painting technique with either Slap Chop, Zenithal or whatever weather way you want to get your miniatures primed and ready to go. I'm looking forward to testing out some new methods of painting too as well that I've been recently watching online and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you as well. So we're starting off here with a little bit of satchel brown for his leather armor parts like sort of leather um, clothing or armor like I guess that he's wearing underneath that big armor of his. This is a great game. This is, they are great miniatures. Kind of funny though how he's holding a scroll instead of a... Uh, flag or uh, whatever you want to call that there but like a uh, uh, standard uh, so it's kind of interesting that they change that a little bit but I guess it makes it a little bit easier uh, for I don't know storing or whatever anyways hardened leathers next for the boots the belts the pouches uh, a whole bunch of different things and again this speed so you're gonna notice one difference so I'm using some of the OG speed paints as well as the 2.0 speed paints and um, I've come to an understanding that maybe, uh, you know how people always like to call about glazing and stuff like that, and you, you use your acrylic paint and you water it down to get the consistency you want. Well, I started noticing that air paints from Army Painter are pretty much the consistency you're looking for and can be used as brush on paint. But I, I'm going to use this at the end of this video. You're going to see what I'm going to do with it because I want to try and do some glazing and some highlighting and some edge highlighting and stuff. And I decided to use the air paints for it, just to try and see what I can get out of it. But because I was using some of them on the old uh, speed paints, they reactivated and kind of sucked up what I did with it. So you'll see that because I didn't let it dry enough. Uh, Fire Drake for the um, Crusader symbol there on his chest. But again, that one for some reason was almost identical to the what was it between it was like a mix between a satchel brown and a leather brown and it wasn't like the orangey color i was hoping it to be uh and i used the palette bone on the scroll to give that old look to it some purple swarm now this is a 2.0 paint that goes on really well it's a little lighter than what it is in the artwork uh if you want to darken it down maybe putting a purple tone or a wash on top of it uh maybe even doing a second coat of this but i think it turns out looking pretty cool i mean it kind of gives them a little bit of a lighter effect in this very dark dungeon uh again it's, these are your heroes you want them to pop on the table and look really awesome so you know doing this is maybe not the worst thing in the world plus with the zenithal dry brushing technique i use here i find the speed paints are coming out at their best and just doing an amazing job now, I thought there was a part of the cloth here in the front that was actually not supposed to be purple, but I think it was, and I used, I put, anyways, I'll put metallic on it later. Whatever. Coming to the metallics now, the glittering loot, uh, one of the gold ones, great job for just that hilt there quickly on the sword there, uh, and just the uh, little part there. Now some broadsword silver, and we're going to be using this on the rest of the miniature pretty much. So the rest of the sword, uh, or the whole sword, all his armor. Uh, this is going to give him a darker look and what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten it out where I think like the light is hitting like in the artwork a bit. You can see the artwork. I was trying to do that cartoony effect. Uh, I've tried to do this in the past but again it would be a lot more with the glazing again and getting it brighter and brighter and brighter as we go. Uh, probably would have had to put like a really dark wash on the entirety of the miniature once it was dry. I could have dipped this miniature. I bought myself recently the uh, dark wash uh, dipping uh, from Vallejo, I think it is, or is it AK Interactive? I don't remember. One of the dipping things, I think it's Vallejo, a <laughs> big tub of that stuff. Sort of like the Army Painter one, but this one seems to work really well and a little less messy. I don't know. Anyways, I haven't used the Army Painter ones, but I could have maybe dipped this whole thing and then start doing all the, um, highlighting and the bringer of the light, you know, and all that and make it really look cartoony, but... I'm not at that stage yet. I don't want to spend hours on a miniature either. I just want to get these guys painted and ready for the table. All right, well, I was talking about the, the air paint. So I'm using an air triad here of the orange. So I went with the molten orange, the lava orange, and then the uh, orange magma. Uh, and as you can see, I was just slowly dabbing it on. And then I used a bullwhack brown on all the leathery parts just to make it 
edge highlighted again but you can see it's there at first but as it was drying it's like the uh, hardened leather was reabsorbing it because it is more watered down right so it like reactivated but it's still you still see some of the highlights it's not super perfect but it's not bad and then I dry brush some shining silver on it and I should have just went on one side of them not back and all that but it still turns out like that he's got some darker areas some shaded areas and that and then using some Gravelord Grey on the base, which I'm going to use on every single base for uh, Darkest Dungeon Heroes anyways. I don't know about the monsters and that. But there you have it. The Crusader. The first miniature I paint from Darkest Dungeon. Tell me how I did. Did you like this miniature? Do you like this video? Do you like the paint job? Comment down below. Hit that like button. Join my Discord. Do whatever you want. Have some fun with it. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.